Hey y'all, Steve here. Okay, so you're laying in bed, you're almost asleep, and it happens. Your iPad gets a notification, or somebody tries to FaceTime call you, and it wakes you up out of a perfectly good deep sleep and takes you a long time to get back to sleep. Well, that happens to me. It has happened to me on several occasions, but there is a way to avoid that noise from your iPad. All you got to do is set up the do not disturb on your iPad. So let's take a look at that today. All right, I want you to open your iPad up. Here I'm looking at mine. I want you to tap your settings, okay? Now in your settings, over here on the left side, you can scroll around, but you are going to see a do not disturb. I want you to tap that. All right, now, over on the right side, you are going to have some settings that you can adjust to your liking and to your schedule so you will not be disturbed by any noises coming from your iPad. One of the choices you get is to operate the manual switch. So I'm going to turn on the manual switch. I'm going to slide that to the right. And it says, when Do Not Disturb is enabled, a moon icon will appear in the status bar and the incoming FaceTime calls and alerts will be silenced. So you can certainly go to bed or take a nap, whatever you're doing, you don't want to be disturbed, and just slide this in manual. And you've basically silenced your iPad at this point. Okay, let's turn the manual back off, slide it to the left. Now, that's one option. Another option may be you just may have certain times of the day where you want your iPad to be silenced. And for that, you can use the scheduled. So I'm going to slide the schedule to the right to turn it on. And now you get the option of setting and adjusting your quiet time on the iPad. And when you tap the times, you're given the option to change the particular times, the from and to. If you tap the to, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., whatever that may suit you, that's how you will schedule this. So if you know you go to bed every night at 11, you get up at 6, you may just want to silence your iPad from 11 to 6. Another feature is you can allow calls from, and it gives you a couple options here. So I'm going to tap that. It says allow calls from everyone or no one or all of your contacts only. So that's, even though you're in Do Not Disturb, you can still allow a FaceTime call to come through if you tap everyone. If you tap no one, no incoming FaceTime calls will be allowed. Another option that you'll see is repeated calls. If you slide this to on, this is kind of a do not disturb override. In other words, if someone tries to face call you twice within three minutes, the they will be able to override the do not disturb if you have this repeated calls turned on. So, you know, in case there's an emergency, someone's trying to get a hold of you, if you have that on, it will override and come in to you. So that's a good little feature right there. And last but not least is at the bottom where you see silence. You either can check always or only while the iPad is locked. So the, if you have it only when the iPad is locked, that means that all incoming FaceTime calls and notifications will be silenced, okay? So there you go. There's a rundown of the Do Not Disturb for the iPad. Now, your iPhone is going to work virtually the same, so you can set both of your iOS devices up and make sure you're not disturbed. Hey, I'm Steve. I'll see all of you in my next video.